Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. I uh, wanted to bring you a quick video on Bitcoin. Uh, we are seeing a nice uptick in Bitcoin and overall market for the last few days. And it's uh, trading right around 6300 right now. Uh, it's Friday, uh, 440 p.m. Eastern, May 10th. And, um, you know, uh, overall the market is quite positive and Bitcoin is obviously up about um about three percent yeah about three percent right now um but i think we are running into a little bit of resistance right now so if you i just the video uh, the mo main purpose of this video is to just kind of give you heads up that we are running into a resistance in bitcoin right now uh we are coming up against 63 6400 resistance um that was previously support so do expect do expect uh, some kind of pullback at this point because right now first of all uh, there is a price point resistance on on top of that uh, we are a little bit overbought on an RSI indication as well so um, we are right around 72 73 on RSI so that tells you that we are a little bit overbought at the moment um, that doesn't mean that it doesn't have more leg to go up but i'm just giving you a caution that you know for time being uh it might take a little bit of pullback before we make a leg up now the scenario can be uh you know a couple of scenario it can be three scenarios right now either we can you know just go through uh, this resistance like you know uh, really nice and quick and make a run toward 72 7300 and i'm quite sure that we will have a pullback at that level i'm very confident that we will have some pullback at that level and then the um, second scenario is we do some consolidation at this level sideway action and then we make the run towards 72 7300 level and the third scenario that i'm just just told you uh when i started the video that we are in the in the resistance zone right now and we will see some pullback over the weekend all right so there are possible three scenario we'll see some pullback um right at this 6200 6300 level second scenario is uh you know going through this resistance and going towards 72 7300 and then having the pullback and the third scenario is sideways action and then maybe a breakout or a uh, pullback around 5200 5300 uh, level all right so those are the three um three scenarios that can pan out out of this action but overall the market is positive uh people are coming back into crypto market but they're obviously everyone is a little more caution because um a lot of people got burned uh in last few months and like you know few, few months been good but like i'm talking about early early uh, uh you know 2019 late 2018 um so just do keep that in mind people will be taking some profit when they come toward this resistance numbers all right so that was a daily that we are looking at daily let's quickly move to the weekly um so in the weekly uh, what i'm seeing is really positive signs in the weekly right now we are about the 50-day moving average which is a significant significant i cannot tell you it's a significant uh, positive indication in bitcoin because if you remember um, previously when we had a you know uh, when we tested the 50-day moving average that was in july of 2018 that's almost like you know close to a year ago we uh, we tested that you know resistance of 50-day moving average and came right down from that so the significance of the 50-day the black line right here the 50-day moving average is huge all right the fact that we are getting over it and staying over it is, is a really good indication for the bulls and i do expect for the long term that we will test some of the higher uh, numbers around 72 7400 um and and in, uh, in next month or so uh, so that these are all positive signs when this coins when they start moving they will move pretty fast uh, so do stay tuned because you know do keep an eye on your uh, on your um, portfolio and your more uh, on your coins because they will move pretty fast so um, for the longer term it is a this is a very positive sign that we are over the 50-day moving average and um, you know um, Bitcoin is finally uh, after almost a year we are finally getting over it and staying over it so that's a very positive sign okay now quickly moving on to the monthly 
uh, now remember the daily uh, um, the weekly chart trumps the daily the monthly chart trumps the weekly all right so this is an even longer uh, view when i say monthly chart uh, it means the the uh, the candlesticks that you're seeing that's the indication of the whole month of the trading now we are just getting this we're just getting started with the month of may we uh, so we are just 10 days into it so we still have 20 days to go um so it, it has some time to you know uh, fluctuate up and down but um, i still like to look at the monthly all right so in the monthly we have uh, we have a resistance of 20 day moving average which is this orange line that is coming up right around the 7,700 level so do keep that in mind um, that will provide some resistance so uh, I won't be surprised if we are like go all the way up to 7,200 7, and then pull back so those are some numbers that to keep that in mind so if you have a position in Bitcoin or some other coins you know um, once you get into those uh, number tight you know tighten up your stop losses uh, if you don't have stop losses and maybe put some of the stop losses in place that will obviously help you protect your gains um, if you got into the action early enough then you are probably sitting on good 50% uh, um, you know uh, 50% or more profit right now so you do want to lock this profit um, rather than just sitting on it okay so just to recap um, there is a positive momentum in the Bitcoin and the overall market um, we are coming towards some resistance right now on the daily we are a little bit overstretched uh, which means that we might see some pullback uh, over the weekend in the weekly we are over the 50-day moving average which is a very good sign if we can stay over that throughout the next week is extremely positive we can make a run toward the 7,000 7,200 levels in Bitcoin fairly soon all right um, but do expect some resistance around that level uh, 7,000 to 7,200 300 maybe do expect some resistance around those levels all right uh, it won't be just like you know straight line up uh, it, it happens but it's very probability is going to be low the reason it happened or, or you know the back in 2017 is because we didn't have anything to gauge against there was no previous price action to be uh, you know have as a resistance so it can be there was no um, there was no direction now we do have some you know trading points now we have some uh, resistance points and the support points from previous trading so we know some indications uh, so that's the reason all right if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notification and the bell icon so you can get this content right away uh, if you have any questions please post it in the comment if you want me to take a look at your portfolio and give you some uh, input then please shoot me an email I will still do the you know portfolio analysis service and um, we'll go from there all right talk to you soon